Yeah, it actually uh, shocked everybody uh, because March SAT was the very first uh, digital SAT that was uh, administered. So up until that point, the only thing, the only resource that all of us had was just uh, their Blue Book test one through four. It wasn't even similar to that. Uh, the one thing that was a little shocking was for them to implement uh, the built-in Desmos graphing calculator to the Blue Book app that they have to use. Uh, but uh, as you know, of course, they don't release the testing. But as far as I gathered, uh, I heard that there are quite a few uh, open-ended questions that even Desmos couldn't uh, help students to solve easily. I'm sure that's why it uh, shocked a lot of students that even Desmos can do it too. So. I think that is the most valid reason why March SAT felt much more difficult than other uh, everybody expected. So Desmos is this uh, free uh, online uh, math tool. You, you can do a lot of different like graphing uh, functions and it has a lot in it. Uh, and then this is actually widely used throughout the whole like math world here and there. A lot of different colleges and universities and in high schools and all that. But now the college board decided to implement this as well. So now the Blue Book app that we talked about before, that's the actual app that all the students need to take the uh, official test, it will actually have the built-in Desmos app there that has a lot of cool features, which uh, it's not necessarily the best news for some students because some students just don't know how to use Desmos wisely, right? That's the main concern. But Desmos is a really good tool that a college board implemented. I'm gonna show you like a couple uh, examples of uh, SAT questions that actually could be, uh, be helpful, right? So for this question right here, as you can see, uh, of course, if you actually know uh, how to use a negative B over 2A as the x-coordinate of the vertex or change this to the vertex form or you know, even actually using the regular calculator, that's fine too. But not only that, what Desmos can actually do for you is you can actually type it in that g of x, you, yes, you can actually put in g of x is equal to, and then after that, you can literally just put it in what they are asking for, and then which says f of x, which is minimum, uh, the maximum value, and all you have to do is just click. When does it reach it? Eight, you're done, right? So this is a very good example that if you can visualize and utilize this calculator very well, uh, you can absolutely do a much better job on the test, right? I'm gonna show you another one. The, the next one is actually showing the slider. Uh, in the given uh, system of equations, t is a constant if the system has infinitely many solutions. So for this question, what I would do is, again, don't even simplify it. Do this, we we'll worry about the slider in a second. Put the second one in. And now all you have to do is this t value, what we're looking for, I will make it, they will ask you, so I will probably go from like, just to test it out, negative 50 to 50 step of one. And all you have to do is just press this and wait. You see how that, as soon as I click the slider, how it moves. And infinitely many solution, you still just have to go find the right moment when they meet together, exact same line, infinitely many solution, zoom into double check, it is. So negative 28 will be the answer. So again, if you know the arch breakaway, as long as you just simplify, you can easily solve, and then it might be actually even faster than the decimals, but again, this is another very cool look, right? Not only this, let's go one more. <laughs> now, you no longer officially have to know how to complete the square, especially when we are dealing with uh, questions like this. It, yes, of course, in this case, uh, plug-in number would be annoying. Now, as soon as you plug that in, this one will uh, graph the circle for you too, and then not only knowing that, you can actually bring the mouse over to click it to figure out the uh, end point of the uh, two diameter, right? So six to negative 14, so diameter is 20, radius is right? So this one, you can easily do it. And yes, it's a bit of a work, but you can even do this too, right? Just plug in A, B, C, D in order. See, like, again, would this be the best way? Maybe for you, some of you, maybe for not, but by doing so, you can easily, get to the answer, right? So that's another way. And now the last one that Desmos is not going to be as helpful as before. I mean, yes, 
if you actually master all the tools, there is actually the way to do this one using Desmos 2. But honestly speaking, in this case, quickly understanding that uh, when we are trying to get the AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to zero form here. And when they're asking about the uh, product, of course, two major sum of the product will be negative B over A product of those products will be the solutions, I meant, right? The solutions will be C over A. So in this case, all you have to do is, as long as you knew that, while everybody's trying to just rely on the Desmos, trying to squeeze some stuff in there, A, B over 57, right? That's equal to C over A, which is the product, K, A, B, what they said. So K must be 1 over 57. So these are the good examples that uh, College Board can make it a little bit more challenging to just plug in numbers into a calculator to the decimal, right? So these are the examples uh, of uh, what decimals is, and then, you know, like what some of the SAT questions that you can utilize. Uh, that's actually a very good question. Uh, and it all depends on what stage you're on, right? Like, are you preparing for the SAT? Are you actually taking the official test, right? But my recommendation, especially if you are uh, preparing for the SAT, first of all, learn all of those tools because it will be helpful. I'm not saying that don't use Desmos ever. However, whenever you are preparing for the SAT, I highly recommend you to prepare it with the mindset of College Board is not letting me use Desmos, right? Like there is no such thing as Desmos. I will just use my authentic TI-84 calculator. You should prepare in that mindset. As we briefly discussed before, that was the main reason why March SAT felt extremely difficult for a lot of students because they were so used to uh, relying on Desmos while they're preparing for the test from Blue Book Test 1 through 4. And as soon as Calibur started to throw these weird questions with the open-ended that Desmos is not going to be helpful too much, that's what threw them off, right? Like So my recommendation is I want all the students should prepare it like I can solve all of these questions without Desmos. So see, now there's a different story. See, this is why even though when you're preparing, I ask you to uh, pretend that there is no Desmos, still learn all the tools, right? Like I said, like you should learn all those functions, all those cool ways to do it because when you're taking the official test, all the students should use their best way. Oftentimes it might be Desmos, or sometimes it could be Irish breakaway or playing with numbers, the ratio, you name it. But you always should try to get your first answer using your most confident, most you know, effective and efficient way. Uh, then when you double check your answer, I want you to start using your second best way. Because if you're using two different ways, it's in, almost impossible for you to get same two wrong answers when you're using two different ways, right? Like that's why uh, I highly recommend you to use whatever the best way, even if it is the Desmos, if you can use it, and if you're confident about it, go at it. That's the test taking strategy. So what I want to conclude this whole thing that I, my main message that I want to cross is you are the one who is taking the test, not Desmos, right? Like, so use Desmos wisely, right? Like use that tool to fight with you, right? Desmos is not fighting for you, right? So as long as you guys can find the, the very fine line of you guys understanding the topic, visualizing it with the weapon of Desmos, I think it's a very useful tool for you to achieve a great success in SAT math. Good luck.